I didn't remember asking you a goddamn thing. I made another one. This is attempt two. Let's see if it works. First of all, someone asked me how my last scrap metal cannon worked. This one. Okay, well basically I use one of these and one of these. A little tutu blank. You don't need a license to buy them, you can buy them in gun shops. For a box of them, about seven quid. Now, what you do for this to work, the powder of match heads ignites under extreme heat. So, I find anything, for some in this case, to grind down a bit of the powder off the head. There are other um, YouTube tutorial videos on, which involve using matchstick powder, but however, they just use match head powder. And to be honest to me, that's a slightly boring explosion. So I like to add a little black powder. Okay, so here's the little pile of match head powder. And then I get the cartridge. There's a little bit of paper at the top. So I get a needle and pry the paper out. So then I have the powder in there, which I then add to the pile. Now usually I do this in a container, but as I said in the last scrap metal cannon video, there is there's too much noise to do in a neighbourhood environment. I had to fire the cannon at work. So, so the theory is, when they, when this is stuffed in the cannon along with a projectile, which in my case is a steel 2-2 BB pellet, it, uh, I put a paraffin tablet underneath, which you can buy in camping stores, but underneath the base of the barrel where the powder is, has been jammed in. And you light the paraffin tablet, so the flame is underneath, obviously underneath the base where the cannon is. And hopefully, that there is enough heat that builds up from the flame that ignites the match, the match head powder, which of course ignites the black powder, like so. There you go. And you get to enjoy the smell of burnt powder afterwards, which is a lovely smell. So that's basically how I got this cannon to work by using a, ma a mixture of match head powder, black powder from the cartridge, and these paraffin tablets. You can buy match heads in any, uh, match sticks in any store, obviously. You can buy these little cartridges from a gun shop. You don't need a license to buy them. And you can buy the par paraffin tablets at any camping, camping shop, outdoor shop, Halfords. So anyway, <laughs> bet you're curious to see how this one works. Slightly different concept. Let's go. Okay, this cannon. This is basically the same tube size as this one. 6mm or 22 caliber. However, I bought some little firecrackers which you have seen in the Model Shots video. Which fit perfectly in there. Okay, so we have our fuse already inside. So what I want to do, do next Take a BB pellet. I'm using these. Take one of these. And then tear off a bit of paper. In my experience, I find receipt paper seems to be the best for this. Get a little piece of it and wrap it around the ball. That acts as wadding, because these are slightly smaller than the barrel. So this acts as wadding. Shove it in. And you get a ramrod. Make sure it's really well compact in there. So here's the setup. Gun crew defending the coastline. And along comes the e boat. Okay, they're lining up their shot. Make sure it's well elevated. Here we go. Open fire. They missed. Okay, it's advanced, but she's damaged. It's finally time to deliver the final blow. Fire. 
Oh, I missed again. <laughs> Fire. One last chance. That's a sinker. Looks like she's scuppered. Going down in a minute. Turn turtle, and down she goes. Okay, well that was um, slightly juvenile. I don't care, I had fun filming it. I'll see what I can do for a third cannon. I'll see if I can get on the metal labels and ball one out onto a piece of brass. That would be beautiful. But I'll give it a go. Until then, see you next time.